Welcome to the demo of Streamlined Onboarding. In the current landscape of smart devices, a key pain point in how we bring new devices into our homes is that of initial setup to get a device onto the home network and under the management of an IoT application or ecosystem. Think of two smart devices from different manufacturers that you may have in your home. It's highly probable that these devices each require the use of a specific mobile application to facilitate their initial setup and management, and it's also likely that the specific steps to set up each device differ slightly. Generally, this process of device onboarding takes the form of six complex steps. These steps are as follows. The device is turned on. An app must be installed and opened. This app is used to connect a device to the Wi-Fi network by providing a Wi-Fi password to the device over Bluetooth, for example. Once the device is connected to the network, the app is used to search for or discover the device. Once discovered, the device can be onboarded into the Smart Home's IoT management system. And finally, after onboarding into the Smart Home's management system, the device can finally be configured and used normally. Clearly, having to apply this process to each device that is introduced to the home is a burden to the end user. The fact that the network's onboarding step is independent of the management ecosystem's onboarding step effectively doubles the manual steps required of the user. Additionally, devices are managed with proprietary applications that may offer different levels of security, each of which the user is required to download. The primary focus of streamlined onboarding is to simplify this process for the end user. Streamline Onboarding uses three simple steps to get a new device up and running in the home. The device is turned on, an app used to manage both the network and the standardized IoT management ecosystem is used to scan a QR code that is presented by the device, for example, on its screen, its manual, or its box, and the device is immediately and securely connected to the Wi-Fi network with unique credentials and is also onboarded into the IoT management ecosystem, where it is ready for further configuration and use. With the single action of scanning a QR code, the end user is able to take a device from out of its box to being configured and operating within seconds. In our demonstration of streamlined onboarding, we leverage three Raspberry Pis. One acts as the Wi-Fi access point and IoT ecosystem administrative component, which is seen on the right, and the others act as new devices that will be onboarded. We'll start with the smart lamp device seen on the left. The smart lamp is connected via GPIO to a power adapter controlling when a light bulb is on or off. This device is new to the IoT environment, meaning that it needs to be connected to the network and onboarded into the IoT management system. We also leverage a tablet that interacts with the administrative components through a web interface to start the onboarding process. Our devices are built to be compliant with the Open Connectivity Foundation's standard for IoT interoperability, meaning that our management app and other OCF compliant devices are able to interact through standardized operations regardless of manufacturer. In our development terminal window, we display the output from a number of processes that are running on the access point. We firstly have the Wi-Fi access point itself, which is providing the Wi-Fi network that the device will connect to. The access point also hosts the Diplomat component, which facilitates the communication of onboarding information during the network association step. The access point provides this information to the Diplomat as the device connects to the Wi-Fi network via Wi-Fi Easy Connect. Alongside this output, we can also see a screencast of our tablet that is used to kick off streamlined onboarding. The only prerequisite step that must be taken ahead of streamlined onboarding is the, is the onboarding and configuration of the diplomat. This is a one-time step that would be taken during initial network installation and is completed using OCF operations for setting authorization policies. In short, this ensures that the IoT management system is ready to receive information about new devices from the Wi-Fi access point via the diplomat. When the device is powered on, it presents a QR code to the user, or the QR code may be printed on its box, manual, or chassis. Since our smart lamp does not have a screen, we assume that the QR code is pre-generated. In our example, the QR code is printed to a development terminal. When a new device is ready to be onboarded, we scan the QR code using our web interface while the device waits patiently to be onboarded into its new home. Again, note that the QR code for our smart lamp is displayed externally from the device. 
Once the QR code is scanned with the web application, the device connects to the network through Wi-Fi Easy Connect. Behind the scenes, this involves the exchange of several messages to securely connect the device. As part of these messages, the device includes OCF information about itself, which is then provided to the IoT management system to start the onboarding process once the device is finished connecting. Once the device is connected, we can discover it and find that it is already held within our owned devices. With onboarding complete, the device can be used directly within the web application. In this case, the device is a smart lamp that can be turned on and off through OCF operations. And here we can see that we can turn the light on and off from directly within the web UI. Here we present a scenario where we already have the smart lamp onboarded. And in this case, we're going to onboard a controller for the smart lamp. This device is capable of displaying its QR code on a screen that's used for user interactions. And so with the same web UI, this time on a smartphone, we will scan the QR code just as we did before to onboard this device. With the QR code scanned, the device is associated to our Wi-Fi network and automatically onboarded into the IoT management ecosystem. Once this process is complete, we can discover devices and find that the controller is now under our ownership and appears under our owned devices. Now that we have both the light controller and the smart lamp, we can configure them to interact with each other. We'll provision an access control policy to the lamp, allowing the controller to alternate the state of the light. Here we specify the controller, the light switch, as the subject, and specify that it may change the state of the light. Additionally, we'll provision a pairwise credential so that these operations can be performed securely. With this simple configuration step complete, we can now change the state of the light directly from the controller. And we see that when we use the toggle button, the state of the light changes. Without having to enter any Wi-Fi passwords or take additional actions, by simply scanning a QR code on each of our devices, we were able to onboard them into both our Wi-Fi network and our IoT management ecosystem, where we configured them for interoperation, and we can see now that they are interoperating with each other. That concludes our demo of Streamline Onboarding. Thank you.